Hey guys, we're back. Um, today we're gonna be taking back some bottles. Just follow us and stay tuned. I don't wanna hear any excuses of why you can't make money, you don't have a job. I don't wanna see any more people sighing and crying. <sighs> I don't have a job. I need to make money. I went on six jobs. And listen, even the brokest person in the world can do this. And I had a video where I told you guys that you can make up to $500 a week if you suck at this. You could suck and still make $500 a week. And the way you do that is you wake up at four o'clock in the morning and you put on some clothes. It doesn't have to be anything. You don't even have to shower. Just put on some clothes, get yourself some bags, get a bunch of garbage bags, trash bags, borrow some from a family member and say, I need to borrow these. Get outside and collect these things all day long, seven days a week. And even the suckiest people who go slow, I, I'm telling you right now, you can still make 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. This is Harry, also known as the Brand Builder. I'm here with my cousin. We're gonna be making a few videos together while she's here visiting me, right? Yep, yes we are. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you are liking the video, sharing the video, tell a friend to tell a friend friend okay that's right and what are we doing this for the november yes. series yes so i'm dedicated to doing what again posting a video every single day just talking about the life of, of an entrepreneur being that's an entrepreneur right. what does it mean um and everything all about that okay <laughs> yeah of course so you know basically what i wanted to do was uh, I wanted to highlight my life as a full-time entrepreneur because for a while it was a hybrid where I would work a full-time job and be an entrepreneur on the side. But in this video series, because I'm uploading every day in the month of November, I am cataloging the entrepreneurial journey, mm -hmm. showing you guys what the life of an entrepreneur who just recently became an entrepreneur is yes. so you focus on your business and like i said before your business doesn't have to take up that much energy it's mm -hmm. not like a job where you have to dedicate eight hours and do a whole bunch of work as an entrepreneur you could probably work two to three hours a day yes. and make even more money yes. than you would at a job so that's the difference like yes. some entrepreneurs work a little harder mm -hmm. and they make a lot of money doing that and they'll tell you that i have to work you know 80 hours to avoid a 40 hour job mm -hmm. that's kind of a little bit of nonsense um, in reality and in truth, depending on how your business is structured and because my business doesn't really d rely on me to always do work. I have yeah. passive income uh, quadrants, so I do have passive income and that's where a majority of my income comes from. So when you have passive income, you don't have to worry about so many things. But today we're doing bottle returns. Just to remind you guys, I love talking about bottle returns because this right here saved my life. Okay. This is the thing that got me out of being homeless. And as you guys can see, I'm in side of a brand new car that I own mm -hmm. along with other things so you understand that although I was homeless I got myself out of it and it's something like this using something so simple a strategy like this to get out of being homeless I don't want to hear any excuses yeah I've heard so many people I don't have money to start a business you don't need money to start a business mm -hmm. you need to stop being lazy right <laughs> <laughs> that's what you need to stop being lazy mm -hmm. all right my cousin she knows we've been on this journey for a very long time yes and she learned a lot being around her older cousin who's very very empiric mm -hmm. and loves to build empires and loves passive income mm -hmm. we're just talking about stocks today too weren't yes. we yes yes we were mm -hmm. so that stock dividend income comes in pretty handy right at the end of the month when you want it or at the beginning right um, throughout the month mm -hmm. so maybe toward the end of this video series as i give you a video every day for the month of November, yes. I'll start talking about how dividends can impact your life. Mm -hmm. So how important is it to get to a thousand dollars a month in dividends from your stock account? How important is that? I think it's very important because it really unleashes that business kind of feeling going on in your life. Yeah. So when you want to really be involved in a business, those dividends act like a vending machine mm -hmm. so there's a vending machine handing you cash every single month every 90 days every whenever but you're going to get paid dividends every month anyway if right. you own a series of portfolio of companies so for each company it's like a different vending machine mm -hmm. so i'm loving it mm -hmm. but anyway just make sure you guys are liking the video and sharing it with a friend because you guys don't be selfish stop being selfish you know why i say stop being selfish and yeah, I'm yelling at my network. I'm yelling at my <laughs> subscribers. You guys are selfish because all of y'all got family members who 
they can't find a job right now mm -hmm. and the job market sucks. And if you send them this video, they might profit from it, but you want to hold it back because you take a look or you say, oh, look, the brand builder's uploading videos. I don't feel like watching it right now. Don't watch it. I don't want you to watch it. I want you to click the share button. Yeah. That's all I want you to do. Share, it share it with your friends, the mm -hmm. people who need this information, because I can't depend on YouTube to push this. Mm -hmm. YouTube is doing its own thing. It's pushing certain people, other people it's not. I'm not one of the people that it pushes. So that being said, I have to depend on you guys. So also in the link below, I'm gonna put my Twitter. Mm -hmm. If you're not getting these videos, follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna share all my videos on Twitter. And here's a really cool part. If you don't have a Twitter, create a Twitter. You wanna know why you should create a Twitter? Cause then I'm the only person you're following. Mm -hmm. So when you go on Twitter, you'll see a whole bunch of videos on the topic mm -hmm. that you can check out. And then you can go to YouTube that way. Yep. And then YouTube can push me because they'll say, outside sources unknown sources mm -hmm. people watch the video and then this video can get to other people mm -hmm. so i'm sharing it i need you guys to share it too so i need you guys to share it make yes. sure you're sharing it make sure you're doing what you got to do so show that support show that love yeah because i need it i love the comments i love the comments trust me i like when you guys are commenting but I also need that like and that share. Yeah. So here's the next comment I need from some of you folk. Yeah. <laughs> so hook me up. Yeah. And tell me below. Brand Builder, I got you. Or Harry, I got you. Or Nat, I got you. Right. I shared the video. Right. Right. And also I'm going to put a link to my cousin's Thank you. YouTube <laughs> channel below in the description mm -hmm. so that you guys can go to her channel, check out her videos if you're up to date. If you're not up to date, cool and there's another you can go to her videos even if you watch them and just go click the share button share all we're looking for is support yeah i'm not concerned if you want to watch it if you're irritated with the videos especially just share it Let not it only does away. it support us it actually helps a friend a family member a work you know a colleague whoever you want to share it to it helps inspire them and motivate them to get out there and maybe start a business start small you got to start somewhere and i have a challenge and i hope you guys are listening to this video thus far i have a challenge okay i want someone who's going to do this mm -hmm. okay if you're going to go out there and collect bottles and cans i want someone who's going to do this to go out collect bottles and cans and i want you to catalog it inside of a book in a mm -hmm. journal and i want you to tell me how much money you made in a week yes okay if you go over 500 dollars Let's do it. All right. Then I want you to get up with me. I don't know where you live at. If you live in another state, we're going to figure it out. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to do it. Catalog your journey. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can do a video together. We could do a live or something like that. But this is going to be proof of concept because I'm going to tell you guys, I'm not kidding you. This got me out of homelessness. I was homeless. And then I found this. So just keep that in mind that there's a will and there's a way Absolutely. and you can make money. And in fact, I think people should be doing this even if you're not homeless, even yeah. if you're doing well. Mm -hmm. Some people are, oh, I make, you know, pretty good money on my job. I make 38,000, make 40,000. So what? Maybe you can make another $10,000 yeah. a year doing this. Yep. You take that income, you start funding your business because yep. this is a great fundraiser for your business. Yeah. You take the money from this, you stick it inside of an envelope and you put it to the side and you stick it in your safe. And as you get ready to start building some ideas for the business that you mm -hmm. want to construct or the business you want to do, all you got to do is take that cash and then go buy the supplies and mm -hmm. everything you need for the business and fund it with this. Yep. So now you have an operable business. So I showed you how to fund it. And that's another reason why you guys should be sharing this video, these videos, because someone's going to learn something today. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to learn something mm -hmm. really well. We also have a video where we talk about becoming landlords. It's mm -hmm. an instantaneous thing. For all you people out there who are, if you're homeless and you need a place to live, Think about this option. Think about buying a house, which is a triplex, mm -hmm. and going out there, renting out two different family units mm -hmm. and living in one. Now you don't pay any mortgage. Now your your cost of living is zero. Mm -hmm. And in fact, in a situation where you have a triplex, you actually might get paid to live where you live at. Right. Maybe your profit margin is $600 after all is said and done. After your cost, maybe it's 2000 maybe it's 1000 Imagine if it was 1000 Now you killed 22 birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. And now you have extra money. So if you want to start investing some of that money in the stock market to bring you back more dividends and cash, you can do that. Right. So I'll be talking about that also in another video. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm just talking about the icebreaker, <laughs> collecting bottles and cans. Now, one warning I have to say. This is not the most attractive business. This will get you scrutinized. Public perception is a weapon against you. If you have a problem with public perception, okay, you need to be very careful because this business is designed 
for people who can abnegate public mm -hmm. perception. If you cannot avoid public perception, if you're embarrassed by your hustle, right. if you're embarrassed by getting money, if you're embarrassed to do things that other people won't, do not do this. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not going to be on here getting scrutinized because someone says, well, I started collecting bottles and cans and my family's embarrassing. They, they say I'm embarrassing. The whole town's talking about me. So what? I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. And I'm glad you guys have been watching so far. I'm going to tell you a secret. In the game of life, when everybody's laughing, at the end of the day, something's going to get a tally. Mm -hmm. You know what's going to get a tally? Real things. Real life. And in real life, a lot of people are broke. A mm -hmm. lot of people are living in debt, living paycheck to paycheck. And they don't want to see nothing because they can't wait to get home from that job that's paying all their bills while they watch Sunday, Sunday night football mm -hmm. and they have nothing in their savings account. Meanwhile, you over here making all the right moves because you're watching a brand builder and you're learning arbitrage, how to have, you know what this is? This is a money hack. Mm -hmm. It's not a business. It's a money hack, yes. but it's great to fund your business yes. because we're also going to talk about Facebook marketplace mm -hmm. and another one of the videos. This is, these are topics I already talk about, but the reason why I continue to repeat them is because I want people to understand that there are ways to make money without mm -hmm. a job. Right. You don't need a job to make money. Mm -hmm. Now, if you do need a job to make money, I don't knock you either. Maybe you're one of those people who want to do both. If you want to be a hybrid, that's great. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to be a hybrid, I understand. Mm -hmm. But in the meanwhile, you have to understand that there are a lot of ways to make money. So if a job's not really reacting to you, you react to the fact that the job's not available and you go touch the market the way you need to. And this is one of, one of the ways you do it. Mm -hmm. If my business is belly up and I had no business left, you know what I would do? Now, I don't suck at this. So $500 a week is, I'd probably do that in two or three days. I'd probably make about $1,000 a week or more because I would do this seven days a week. I would wake up early in the morning and I would do that because I don't care about public perception like some of you guys do. Mm -hmm. I don't care what the public thinks about me. I care about building wealth, being a wealth builder, being a brand builder, right. being successful financially mm -hmm. and investing in my future mm -hmm. because I put it to you guys like this. Having a nice home with uh, everything paid for, car with everything paid for, mm -hmm. plus extra money to do whatever you want if you want to go out and have a good time or you want to travel the world is much more important than worrying about a few people who are broke and can't do it, mm -hmm. scrutinizing you because you made the right decision, right. which was to take your financial future in your own hands. Exactly. Now, the last thing I'm going to leave you guys with is that I am not your consultant. I'm not your business coach. <clears throat> I'm simply cataloging experiences that I have mm -hmm. and giving you advice based on things that I do. And that for, work for yeah, you. Yeah, you know? for your own entertainment. Mm -hmm. Okay, not to be taking as business or legal advice. If you think you want to take anything on this video seriously, then I, I suspect that you're going to be giving a call to your business coach or guru, mm -hmm. or you're going to just be an adult mm -hmm. and take responsibility in your own hands. Because being out in the streets, there's some safety concerns you might have. I always say use gloves. I'm not here in case you get hit with a hypodermic needle or something like that that was used by a drug fiend and you contract a disease or something like that. I'm not here for that. I'm not trying to. There are some risks when doing anything and even something that's free. So if you're collecting bottles and cans, you might run into a situation where you might have to watch out for your safety. Somebody crazy might attack you or anything like that. So just be careful. Uh, there are safer ways to do bottle returns. If you live in a community where people do drives, you can do a bottle drive. Um, I've seen videos of young children who made twenty and thirty thousand dollars doing bottle drives. So trust you me. If a kid can make twenty thousand dollars in one calendar year at seven years old doing a bottle drive, then you adults should be able to do this too. Right. And one of those hacks is you can you can start having family members and friends hold their bottles for you. I was going to say that, yes. Yeah. Start off so, first, yeah, I would yeah. say, by saving your own bottles in your home. Mm -hmm. When you're going through water bottles, juice bottles, cans, soda, anything like that, you start off with yourself first. You collect them in your house. You don't throw them out. You know, keep them piled up in a bin, um, a plastic bag. And then, hey, you call family members that are nearby and let them know, like, hey, you know, I'm going to be returning my bottles in exchange for cash. Uh, do you have any? You can hold some for me. And then from there, you can just branch off and, you know, do your own thing by collecting it on the streets. But the safer way to start would definitely be in your home first and then with friends or family members you know that's right so it's safer you're not contacting crazy mm -hmm. people or <laughs> you're not getting hit with the hypodermic needle stab that from the needle that's in the trash can mm -hmm. going really fast right so um yeah please be careful <laughs> There are going to be some precautions in the mm -hmm. industry, so you got to be very careful what you do. Mm -hmm. So follow those precautions. 
Understand that not everything is safe. It can be very dangerous if you go about it in the wrong way. And that's fine. We have to understand that we got to take precautions and risk in everything we do, including business. There's also a risk of going to work every day. Mm -hmm. You could be fired and not be able to provide for your family. So I don't want to hear anything about that. This is too risky. Listen, people got to get a little tougher in today's economy because things are going to start getting really tough. And if you can't get tough along with the economy, the economy is going to punish you. Right. I mean, you'll know exactly what you need to do when that tough economy starts hitting you mm -hmm. like a boxing glove by Mike Tyson directly <laughs> in your face. You'll know what that feels like. And you ain't got to really worry about much more because life will start to hurt really bad. And while you run into your doctor to get your depression medication and stuff like that, and also worrying about how depressed you are all of a sudden because you <laughs> realize that life sucks, you could always contact a brand builder or comment below and I could tell you a few things that you can do. Mm -hmm. Like start working out, start getting out, go take a walk, collect bottles and cans instead of taking, you know, depression meds because you're not depressed. You just you're just dealing with a real thing right. which is basically you're forgetting how crazy it can be out here mm -hmm. in life and maybe you're underestimating the way things are so anyway just to let you guys know <laughs> that if you really are suffering from depression get help yes but a lot of you are not and, you know some of you are just causing your own depression by being irresponsible just get outside yeah, touch get grass outside. and get some sunshine take a walk <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. take a walk anyway we're done uh, make sure you like and share. I'm not asking people to subscribe anymore. I'm actually losing subscribers. And to me, that's a blessing mm -hmm. because you didn't belong here anyway. So thank you for all the people who continue to support and for all the people who are supporting. I'm thankful to you, but I'm going to keep it honest. Sometimes it's not always about being positive. I'm going to get directly to the point, which is you don't belong here. Fine. Share it to, with people who do belong mm -hmm. here. If you don't belong here, this is the last thing I want to ask a hater or someone negative. If you don't belong here. If you don't belong, subscribe to the channel. Do me a favor. Press share so that the people you know that do belong here can come mm -hmm. and start watching and learn something. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because I don't really need to make money on YouTube. I make money in many different ways. You can't stop my bank account. You can't stop my money. So don't worry about sharing because you're going, oh, he's going to get paid. I'm going to get paid regardless whether you share or not. It doesn't matter to me what your perception of what I do is. I'm going to get paid no matter what. So don't worry about me. Worry about you. And have a nice day.